I'm Mary West with a look at local news on AM 950 K High. A Grass Valley man pulled a knife on a CHP officer Saturday following a pursuit. The chase began on Ridge Road near Alta Street in Grass Valley when a CHP officer observed a motorcycle driven at a high rate of speed come up behind a vehicle at a stop sign, then swerved to the right, passing the car on the shoulder and then sped through the intersection. The officer turned on his lights and siren and began to pursue the motorcycle who failed to yield. At one point, the officer thought the motorcycle was going to yield, but he took off again at a high rate of speed near Rough and Ready Highway. Officer Greg Tassoni with the Grass Valley Highway Patrol Office says the stop was finally made near the suspect's residence near Adams Avenue. Upon further investigation there at the scene determined that this person was driving on a suspended license, also did not have a license to operate a motorcycle. The officer who had backup with him at this point uh, advised him that they were going to be impounding the motorcycle. Uh, the subject became further irate and started uh, smashing the uh, windshield on the motorcycle and then uh, ended up pulling out a knife and um, opening a blade on the knife, confronting the officers, threatening their lives. The officers took out their taser weapons and the suspect dropped the knife and was taken into custody without further incident at the scene. Officers took the suspect to the hospital for a medical clearance before being booked at the Placer County Jail. Officer Tassoni says the suspect again resisted officers. We were trying to do a medical clearing process where he ended up trying to assault the officer again and we had to physically restrain him again. There were no injuries from that, and uh, the officer was not harmed, and he was later booked into the Wayne Brown Correctional Facility on a number of charges. 49-year-old Robert Patrick Egina of Grass Valley was arrested for a number of felonies, including failure to yield and assaulting an officer. Egina was booked into the Wayne Brown Correctional Facility. More than 300 search and rescue team members from around the state will be in the American River Canyon near Auburn for a mountain rescue team testing on Saturday, March 1st. The Placer County Sheriff's Office Mountain Rescue Team, which is one of the many specialized teams of the Sheriff's Search and Rescue Operations, is hosting the California Region Mountain Rescue Association 2014 reaccreditation. Teams belonging to the CRMRA are required to recertify annually in one of three disciplines, which include snow and ice, technical rock and search and tracking. This year's event will be search and tracking. The reaccreditation will take place in the Auburn State Recreation Area in the American River Canyon. The command post will be at the American River Canyon Overlook Park, overlooking the Auburn Dam site. Field teams will be tracking subjects, working medical scenarios, during doing grid searches and locating a missing aircraft. The event will run from approximately 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Recreational users of the Auburn State Recreation Area near Auburn and Cool should use extra caution when traveling in the canyon near Highway 49 between Auburn and Cool and in the areas around the American River Canyon Overlook Park. Members of the different teams will be in the field most of the day, traveling by road and hiking on the trails. Mountain bikers should use extra caution when traveling on the trails, especially in areas where visibility is limited. Signs and caution tape will be posted at various locations to ask drivers, bicyclists, and hikers to use caution while traveling in the area. Local news continues on AM 950 K High. I'm Mary West. The Auburn Interfaith Food Closet will be moving to a new location on Earhart Avenue at the Auburn Airport with Tuesday night's approval for a use permit from the Auburn Planning Commission. Planning Commissioner Matt Spokely says it was a rare full house at the meeting as many supporters of the move wanted to speak during public comment, as did concerned business owners near the air park. There was a big contingent of folks that were in favor of the food closet and, and the transfer from their current location on Richardson Drive over to a new location uh, in the airport property. And we had one one business owner in the area who was concerned about the flux of homeless people, the attraction that might occur, and had some concerns about kind of exasperating existing problems that they've got out there at the airport. Another business owner wrote a letter similar to the speaker who supported the efforts of the food bank but was weary of the effect it may have with increased crime or homeless camps in the area. The commission took this information into consideration when making their final decision. The commission voted unanimously to grant the use permit on one condition. In one year, we're going to have a review of that process, a review of the activities out there based on reports that are readily available from what we were told from the police department and reevaluate that use permit. The Auburn City Planning Commission met in council chambers at 6 p.m. Tuesday evening at City Hall, located at 1225 Lincoln Way in Auburn. 
And Placer County launched a remodeled website Friday designed to ensure the public can find the information it needs quickly and efficiently. County officials are encouraging the public to check out the redesigned website and provide input for the county to consider as it continues working to make the website as user-friendly as possible. The county website is located at www.placer.ca.gov. The public is invited to provide feedback and ideas for the remodeled website by sending emails to website comments at placer.ca.gov. Placer County began redesigning its website about a year ago with several goals in mind, making it more user-friendly, providing a better search engine, and taking advantage of software improvements. The improved site provides a citizen-centric design, a mobile-friendly solution that enables accessibility to everyone on any device at any time, simplified content and information, enhanced navigation capabilities, language that is easily understandable, and improved search capabilities. Created in 1997, the website has served since its inception as a tool for many types of users, including residents looking for information about services, businesses seeking background on Placer County's economy, and tourists looking for recreational activities available in Placer County. I'm Mary West on the Voice of the Foothills, AM 950 K-High.